Hi, this is Jeremy Kushner, CEO of BACS Consulting Group, California's premier managed services provider for cybersecurity and IT services. Recently, we've been getting a lot of praise for the work that we've been doing with life sciences companies. And over the last number of weeks, we've been talking about cybersecurity and how it affects companies in the life sciences space. Last week, we talked about how to make a cybersecurity priority culture within your enterprise. And today, I want to zoom into that a little bit and talk about cyber resiliency and how to build that into your company's culture. Please stick around if you'd like to learn more. The FBI recently reported that nearly half of the cybersecurity attacks that take place are targeted against life sciences companies. These threat actors are targeting business processes, trying to cripple manufacturing, trying to steal data, and really disrupt business flow. So many things have changed over the last couple of years in terms of how life sciences companies do business. People are no longer centralized. They're using vast differing systems to do their research, to store their data. And on top of that, the C-level executives at many of these companies still do not put a priority on cybersecurity. The thinking is still, this is not gonna happen to me. So even though many companies have not improved their security stance, the cyber criminals have fully professionalized what they do. They've really figured out how to get in, how to look at systems that are not unified, how to look at people that don't have a common way of looking at their security and to get in and wreak havoc. The number one way to attack life sciences companies is ransomware, in which huge amounts of data are kept hostage for large amounts of money in exchange, but also malware in which company credentials are stolen and then used to get access to systems is also a huge threat across the board. So what you ask can be done to create a cybersecurity priority culture that focuses on cyber resiliency. Well, first off, you wanna conduct regular audits of your company's environment. So not just offices, but any location where you have employees working, even if it's working out of their home. You also wanna take a look at the manufacturers you rely on and the contractors to make sure that they also have a cybersecurity reliant culture. Second, you wanna focus on a cyber resilient training. You wanna make sure that everyone that's in contact with your organization, whether they're employees or contractors, understand what to look for when it comes to cybersecurity, what new threats emerge, and you wanna constantly re-educate people, keep them in the loop, keep them updated, because things are constantly changing. And third, and most importantly, you wanna partner with an IT managed firm which understands cybersecurity and understands life sciences. They need to be able to identify what the risks are and how to mitigate those. If you are interested in learning more about how BACS can help you improve your cybersecurity stance, please reach out to us at any of the contact information below. And if you like what you heard today, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.